Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about voice acting in the Pokemon franchise. It's been a discussion that's been around in the community for a couple generations now, with many people thinking Pokemon should make the leap to fully recorded voice dialogue in their games, while others think that it's an unnecessary addition that would only do more harm than good. Let's discuss it. Now, given the fact that Pokemon is a basic JRPG, one might determine it to be called a kiddies first JRPG, uh, you would assume that it would have some level of character development and voice acting and things of that nature in the game. Many JRPGs are well known for their voice acting and the interesting localizations of said voice acting. We've had other Nintendo properties get voice acting in recent years, one of the most notable being The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which famously had some controversial voice acting, uh, to put it mildly. The English voice acting in Breath of the Wild got heavily criticized by many fans. I personally never really had much of an issue with it. Zelda's voice actress got a lot of unfair hate, I feel, when the game first released. Of course, you always have the option with many of these games to hear the voice acting in whatever language you want. You can set it to English if you have a localized version, but you can also hear it in its original Japanese. So when Pokemon Sword and Shield rolled around and we saw many of those cutscenes and trailers, people started to think, huh, the character's mouths and voice is animated in such a way that it might be hiding voice acting. There were cutscenes, especially in the beginning of the game, where Chairman Rose introduced the Pokemon League, and it looked like it was being modeled to put a voice and put sound behind it. It did not. It was text on the screen and music, and a lot of people criticized a lot of the cutscenes in Pokemon Sword and Shield for feeling strangely eerie and very out of place without any sort of voice acting. Now, Pokemon has never really had voice acting in it as a franchise. It never really has had the need. It was always a text-based game, but as Pokemon games made the jump to 3D, things got a lot more cinematic to the point where many of the interactions between trainers and the climaxes of games, between the trainers and the legendary Pokemon and the evil team and whatever protagonists and antagonists you have are now fully animated. They're not just in-game cutscenes. They are separate from the gameplay footage itself. We've already seen a bunch of footage from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet of people talking to crowds and talking amongst each other that might lead you to believe there's going to be voice acting. There's a chance that this is just a repeat of Pokemon Sword and Shield, and that these voice acting scenes that in any other franchise, in any other JRPG, you would probably see audio recorded for them, it might just end up being text. Now, we don't know that for sure, but after Sword and Shield, you do have to take a step back and assume that these are not hints at voice acting, even though I think for a bunch of reasons, voice acting should become a staple of the Pokemon franchise with Scarlet and Violet. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. Check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Part of my issue with why there was no voice acting in Sword and Shield and subsequently Legends Arceus was because of the direction Pokemon has chosen to take the franchise. They have opted to make it more cinematic. They have opted to include more story cutscenes. They have opted to include more tutorial cutscenes. They have opted to make the characters of their regions a larger focus as the generations have proceeded. When you're on the DS and when you're on the 3DS before the jump to real 3D with Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you had that chibi art style of X and Y and Oras, the way in which the game was presented, I think, allowed them to get away with text boxes and very little in terms of story cutscenes. If you look back to the DS era, a lot of the cutscenes were in-game. If you're talking about the events at Spear Pillar in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, there were quote-unquote cutscenes when Dialga, Palkia, Garatina emerged from their realms via Cyrus and the Red Chain, and they showed the effect that their emergence into the world had on the Sinnoh region at large, but these cutscenes were on the in-game engine. In newer games, these cutscenes 
cutscenes are fully animated. They change the way the text is presented to us on the screen. It's not just boxes that we can scroll past willingly at any pace we want. It is synced up on the screen to the movement of mouths of characters that are in important positions in the scene. They're trying to make this bigger, more epic, more cutscene heavy. This was really emphasized in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon with a lot of the events when Nebi evolved into Solgaleo and Lunala, and you dealt with Necrozma in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It feels empty without voices coming from these characters. Pokemon needs to make a decision. They're clearly moving towards keeping this sort of thing cinematic. The headmaster at the school you go to in the Paldea region has this big cutscene looking event where he's introducing all of the students, talking about the treasure hunt. It was something that was heavily emphasized in one of the more recent trailers for Scarlet and Violet. His mouth is moving. We see text on the screen. We even see the people who are voicing over the trailer basically speaking as him. This is an event in Pokemon that screams voice acting. And if it's not going to be there, it's going to be a glaring omission again by Game Freak and by the Pokemon company. I understand that it is very easy to get voice acting wrong. Many people criticize the voice acting, like I said, in Breath of the Wild. People have criticized voice acting going back decades now. Skyrim had some heavily criticized voice acting when it first came out, and a lot of Skyrim's issues have become memes at this point. It's become kind of part of the Skyrim experience, but a lot of its voice acting was heavily scrutinized at the time because of the actors they chose, the delivery of their lines, things of that nature. Other Nintendo games of recent years, something like Fire Emblem, which has voice acting, has gotten scrutinized as well. Pokemon is no stranger to the scrutinizing of voice acting in the anime. It is one of the biggest critiques of the English adaptation of a lot of the more modern Pokemon animes is that they change so much of the original intent behind the lines. The voice acting isn't up to snuff. It's something that you hear constantly in the Pokemon community. So in one vein, you can understand Game Freak's potential apprehension to including it in their core games. But at the same time, I don't think they can continue down the, their current path of cinematic camera work and game design if they don't include it or at least make it an option. I think it's an unavoidable omission that looks worse the more they lean in to this cinematic style of storytelling in their games. But what do you guys think? Do you want to see voice acting in the Pokemon franchise? I want to ask this in two parts. If you want to see voice acting, do you let's just assume for the sake of argument the voice acting is good so on its core do you do you want the concept the theory of good voice acting in pokemon games or is the risk of it being handled poorly not adapted well enough to make you go okay let's take a step back we don't need it let me know down in the comments section below. I'm very interested to hear a lot of different opinions on this. And if you want to see more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos, more Pokemon videos in general like this in the future, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check back for more new content very soon. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.